Welcome to DIY with Nancy. Today I'm going to share a dish with you of peas with chicken and chorizo. In Portuguese, we call this dish ervilhas com galinha e churis. It's so simple, so delicious. The aroma that you get in this kitchen when you're making this dish is just unbelievable. I love the smell uh, and I love the ingredients that are included in this dish. It's just basic ingredients. You probably have it in your kitchen or pantry somewhere. Um, but I'm going to tell you that there are varieties of way of making this uh, dish. I'm going to show you the basic way. I remember my mom, she sometimes she eliminates some of the ingredients and add other ingredients, but either way, it's delicious. So let's get to making the ervilhas com galinha e churis step by step. Let's get to cooking, everyone. Here are the ingredients you'll need to make this recipe. One tablespoon of hot pepper sauce, half a cup of tomato sauce, third cup of red wine. I have four cups of water, half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, one teaspoon of sweet paprika, salt for seasoning, two garlic cloves diced, one large onion diced, half a cup of fresh parsley. I have 750 grams of peas that were frozen and thawed. And I have two small Portuguese chorizos that are also thinly sliced in rounds. And I have here about three to four chicken wings and about three chicken breasts. So those are the ingredients you will need for this recipe. And I will list the ingredients in the description box down below. Now for the first step, I'm gonna get started in the large saucepan. I'm gonna start off by placing the olive oil. And I want to warm up the olive oil before I start adding my ingredients. So I'm going to turn on the heat to a low to medium heat, warm up the olive oil. Once the olive oil is warmed up for about 30 to 45 seconds, at that point, I'm going to start adding the ingredients. And I'm going to start off by adding the chopped onion. Now that I have the onions in the olive oil, I want the onions to soften a bit. So I'm just going to stir it in combine it with the olive oil and then once they're softened at this point I add the two garlic cloves that I have diced um, and mix that in as well you want to absorb the flavors into the olive oil now for the next ingredient I'm going to add one tablespoon of hot pepper sauce you can eliminate this ingredient altogether if you don't want it spicy just don't place the hot pepper sauce, but I'm gonna add it because we like it here at home. So that was one tablespoon of hot pepper sauce. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of sweet paprika. Next, I'm adding one teaspoon of ground black pepper. And now I'm adding half a cup of tomato sauce. This is a homemade tomato sauce. You can use canned tomato sauce if you prefer. Now I'm going to stir it to combine. This is where all the flavors and the aroma comes out of this saucepan. It smells so good in this kitchen already. Now I'm just stirring to combine all these flavors and once it's combined at this point I'm ready to add one third cup of red wine. If you have white wine you can use that as well. I'm using red that's what my mother uh, used to use and showed me how to use so I'm going to use that. So once that's all combined you have the wine and all the uh, ingredients in there. This point you're going to add the chicken. I'm using about three uh, chicken wings and one large chicken breast that I cut in four pieces just to make smaller pieces. But you can also use chicken legs, chicken thighs, whatever pieces of chicken you decide to place in this dish, it tastes the same. Now I'm going to incorporate all the sauce with the chicken. I want the chicken to absorb the flavors. Okay, that should be good. At this point, I'm gonna season the chicken and I'm gonna add uh, about a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna add a little salt. One teaspoon is sufficient at this point. Once I've added the salt, I'm just gonna stir it to combine. Uh, just a quick stir. And now for the next ingredient, I'm adding four cups 
of water. And I'm placing enough water to cover the top of the chicken. So the water will evaporate while the chicken is uh, cooking. Now the water is gonna come to a boil. Once it does, I'm gonna let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. So at this point, you wanna just let it cook, put the lid on it, and then I'll show you the next step. Now I'm going to check on the chicken that has been cooking here. You can see that the sauce has evaporated a little bit. Now at this point, I'm ready to add the next ingredient, which is two small shurisu that I've uh, cut in rounds. So I'm gonna place the shurisu in the saucepan. Now once you add the shurisu, you're gonna stir it up a little bit. And our shurisu, homemade shurisu that we make here at home um, has a lot of salt and a lot of uh, pepper. So I was hesitant in putting a lot of salt and pepper. So I'm, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm gonna check for seasoning. It is quite hot. Okay, I'm gonna add about another half teaspoon of salt at this point. All right. Mix that up. And also, if you find that your uh, sauce has evaporated quite a bit, you can add a little bit more water. Use that to your discretion. Uh, it depends how much peas you put in um, and how much the water has evaporated while the chicken was uh, cooking. Now, for the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I have here 750 grams of peas. I'm going to add that in. And these were frozen, defrosted, obviously thawed, um, and I've added them in. And I'm going to also add about half a cup of chopped fresh parsley. Okay. Now I'm going to mix that together. This is a very, very, very simple dish. And I say very, very simple because it is a really simple dish. Um, I love to have extra sauce, so probably at this point, uh, I would add more water if I needed it, uh, so I can have more of the sauce, but it's fine, uh, it looks great. I'm gonna let this cook for another few minutes, say five minutes or so. I'm gonna put the lid on it, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's served. Now, it's been about five, six minutes, I've had the uh, peas going with the chorizo that I just added. I'm gonna mix that up. It's perfect at this point. I'm gonna turn off the heat, plate my peas with chicken and chorizo, irvilish con chorizo y galinga, and it's ready to be served. So let's plate it and show you what it looks like. I've plated the irvilish con galinga y chorizo. It looks delicious. It's ready to be served. You can see some chorizo, some chicken, the peas. The broth in itself is so tasty. If you get some bread and just dip it in, oh, it just takes you to another world. Now, this is the dish for my Irvilish Kungalini Chiris. Peas with chicken and chorizo. It's very simple, under one hour, you can have this dish prepared from start to finish. And I hope you give this recipe a try. And there you have it, everyone. That's my recipe, or my mom's recipe, that she's shown me how to make, and I'm now showing you, of irvilish con galinga and churis. Peas with chicken and chorizo. The smell, the aroma, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I, I love this dish. Um, and I'm going to just, I don't want to spoil my dinner, but I'm going to try a little bit, uh, because I want to, and I can. So I'm going to put some broth because anybody that knows me, Nancy loves the broth and I love the peas and I love the chicken, but I don't want to spoil my dinner. So I have some bread here, which I'm going to dip into the sauce. Mmm, so good. Mix the peas in there. Mm. Question is, 
you eat it with a fork or a spoon. You know what? Who cares? Whatever you like to eat it with. I have a spoon. Mm. Delicious, delicious dish. Um, I'm so grateful for my mom showing me all these recipes. And I want to share with all of you, um, don't be afraid of trying recipes. Uh, you know what? You don't get it right the first time. That's okay. Don't be discouraged. Uh, keep going. Uh, learn our Portuguese traditional recipes. Um, show it to your kids. So important. I hope you all enjoy this recipe. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care. Okay.